All right, welcome back, 2021, another episode of These Old Guns. I'm still Rick and I'm still a bit of a gun nut. Although today, we're not doing anything to do with guns. It's what fuels them. If you saw, we're gonna call this Powder Horn Experiment Part Two. If you saw Part One, you know what the premise was there and what the result was. And if you haven't seen it before you watch this, I urge you, go back and watch Powder Horn Experiment Part One. It was one of our earlier videos. A viewer sent in, what if you use Pirate X? Would the result be different? Well, I'm really not sure. Now, difference being, black powder is an explosive. That's why when you go to try to find black powder, it's difficult to find in stores because for a store, a gun shop, a big box store, to carry black powder to sell, there's all sorts of rules they need to follow. You have to have a special locker have to be approved by the fire marshal and what I've seen in my experience is most gun shops say hey we don't carry black powder get Pirate X, Triple Seven, Blackhorn, any of the, any of the other um, black powder substitutes. Difference being we're using Pirate X here. Pirate X is a black powder replacement and not classified as an explosive it is classified as a propellant. By nature perhaps not quite as volatile and explosive as black powder. So we're going to try. did the same thing. Another powder horn. I've got the pegs removed from the cap of the powder horn. We filled it about a third away with Pirate X. Uh, you'll see some single uh, pictures we show. We show that the opening, the cork is gone, or the plug is gone. The fuse is in there. The tape is only holding the fuse, but not covering up the opening. So if it was to go like a skyrocket out that way, it would blow out the plug. Pretty easy, the plug comes right out. So, that's what we're gonna do. You can take your own bets at home if you think it's gonna blow up. Is it gonna blow the cork off? Is it gonna take off and spin around like a skyrocket? We covered this before. So without any further ado, we're gonna set this thing up, we're gonna light the fuse, I'm gonna step back, we're gonna see what happens to it. All right, let's light this thing off and see what happens. Well, part one, we definitely had an explosion with black powder. Part two with Pirate X, I still wouldn't want to be carrying it, but it wasn't what I would actually call an explosion. It did kind of go poof. You'd get burned, seriously hurt, but it would be much safer with Pirate X than with black powder. So thank the, the viewer who wrote in, or yeah, he wrote in and asked about Pirate X. It was a good experiment. I would have liked to see the nice big kaboom, but you can't always get what you want. You get what you get. In this case, we got a big foam, big puff of smoke, a lot of flame. That's about it. I'll go see what's left over for parts here. All right, let me see what we have. It started out looking like this, and it still looks like this. Nothing's cracked, no damage. The plug on the end of the powder horn did blow out and you can see it's a little uh, a little blackened but nothing is damaged put this back together and reuse it so maybe we'll have to do another one with black powder just for the fun of it but clearly the pirate x is safer it is a propellant non-explosive and the fact that the powder horn is intact shows that it blew off whoops and that was it folks all right thanks for watching we'll see you on the next exciting video I'm out.